Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how many to many uh, in many to many relationship how middle table works. So uh, he, uh, here we have two table that is the application user is referred to the teacher and the courses is the another table. So between the teacher and the courses, teacher teaches courses. So teach, teaches is the middle tier table in which you can add the application user ID and the course ID. Okay. So you can check the application user class there is and uh, that is identity user class uh, and the courses is there. Okay, so both are um, with the many to many relationships. Okay, so how the teachers table um, modified. So uh, first of all, check your uh, UI between the application user and the courses. So a teacher have selected multiple courses okay so uh, the middle ta uh, table how it's work when we assign any courses to the teachers so select first of all teachers first there is two courses are assigned another you are assigned you can uh, you will to assign to the narin bulgit if you select those teacher Deepak there is not assign any courses to the Deepak so first of all assign it and uh, you can create it okay so I will give you a demo first Narendra I unselect it and select the 302 and create it okay so now come to the that point and check it the Narendra Bulgate there is the two assigned and two unselected okay so uh, how it's work uh, I will, I will give you a uh, database example also. So here we have teachers table. Here we have three and four. Okay. So I unselect it and select three zero one and create it. Yeah. So two and four are uh, created. So refresh it, two and four are created and three is removed. So here you can add remove data in the middle table in many to many relationships. Also assign the teachers to that courses to the Deepak, create it. Also you can check it. Yeah, there is two, four, four is selected okay there is a different id between the four four there is okay so how to select that yeah and you can check it yeah so how it's work between the middle table so uh, here we have a id here we have a assigned courses uh, in the view model teaching view model so you can check it view model there is the teaching view model here we have a application user ID and the list of application users and the courses and the selected courses also and teaser uh, you can select uh, course IDs in the list so here we have a teaching view model but uh, here we uh, here we use only list of teaching view model you can check it list of application users so a list of uh, teachers are there so vm.teachers equals to await user manager so there is no requirement of these things okay because here we have a list in the teaching view model okay so get the uh, teachers in the drop down where you can select the teachers and pass to the assigned courses view model assigned courses here you can uh, model.teachers id email application user 
also call uh, Ajax when we select any teachers then bind the checkbook list here we have the Ajax and call that uh, get teacher course uh, also send the user ID so here we have get teachers courses user ID is there so first of all get the users from the list according to the user ID and selected courses ID is also uh, get by using include teachers so user dot teachers dot select all the course IDs there also get you can uh, get the courses from the course table create a list of the checkbook list of items uh, there is the checkbook list item in the model class in the view model okay you can this shared folder under editor template there is checkbook list item okay so name value and it checked is the boolean type so variable course in the courses <coughs> so each courses you can add the uh, item in the checkbook list name value is checked so it checked is selected course id dot contain course ids okay if it is contained then uh, return to true otherwise return to false okay send the partial view that is uh, cb courses and the cb courses so here we have a partial view in which you can bind the uh, checkbook lists selected courses item value item dot is checked is true and so true otherwise false so now the list is bind with the checkbook list after that the how the post method works there is the post method so first of all the checked item again I uh, run this project yeah login how the middle uh, table works so here is the code where uh, can check it yeah there is the get method only there is the only one uh, thing is uh, assigned it here the user manager get teacher courses and only that thing this method and this method there is the ajax method get teacher courses okay but how the post method work that is assigned courses so if we unselect it then remove the item from the list from the database table and also add that item that into the database table so first of all selected course ids selected course id is what zero 0 and 4 is the selected course ID get it also you can get the courses but there is no need also get the teachers which particular teacher is assigned so there is Narin Bulgit there is the ID property you can get also include the teachers table the middle table so existing records are getting from the list by using the teacher dot teachers dot select the course IDs here we get all the course IDs assigned to the particular teachers I mean to say that Narin Bulgit okay to add what to add in the list so selected course IDs is there dot accept there is already exist in the table so remove the accepts the existing course IDs and only the course ID is there okay so I mean to say that except I mean to say that 303 is there and 301 is there so 2 is there to remove what to remove 301 is removed so you can use existing course IDs dot accept selected course IDs existing course ID is there and selected course ID selected course ID is what 
there is 301 and 303 so removed it after that you can assign the teachers dot teaches what teacher dot teaches dot where to remove dot contains to remove what this here we have only one data that is 301 to remove dot contains x dot course IDs I mean to say that in the teacher dot teaches we have two data 30 3 CS1 and 303 so add this okay and if we any other things is there I mean to say that removed only 302 and 3 CS1 and 303 303 is not touch and 3 CS1 is newly added in the record so here we have only one record in the item 3 CS1 so add it so here uh, we have two uh, things happen first is to remove and second one is to add in the middle table so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core, identities and any help please comment it under the comment section and uh, I will provide you a better videos for that. Thank you very much for watching.